absolutely beautiful. You see the white tail with the tails. Obviously, when they're running in pack groups like this, I mean, this is four of them now. These groups can be up to anything as many as 25, 30 dogs sometimes. Those white tails are nice, clear markers for them to see each other as well. They seem very playful. Lots of fun going on there with them. They're just eating up the pace or eating up the road here. I mean, they're probably traveling at about 25, 30 kilometers an hour. Fortunately, this is not a pack that we see often, but if we knew them very well, I'm almost guessing this is the alpha male and female at the back here. The lighter one of the two you see is more sort of beige, but the one on the right hand side now is darker. Just the way they're behaving, I'm wondering if there's not female, isn't maybe an estrus. He was trying to mount her earlier. Yeah. And with wild dogs, you've got alpha dominance. You've got a dominant male and dominant female. Typically, that they're the only ones that breed, so the female won't allow any other males to mate with her. Unless conditions are really good, sometimes the second female will have will have pups, but that's not very common. This is extremely exciting to see wild dogs. is It's one of the special things to do when you're out in Africa. I haven't seen them in like two years or something <laughs> crazy like that. Some areas you still get to see them, Kruger National Park, one or two other small reserves in South Africa where they still protected. Then in Bushman Land in Namibia. Like many places in southern Africa you still get to see these guys. Just now for a little bit if we haven't yet. It's going through the dip here. No, they've gone through Philemon's Lip and we're on Weaver's List now. I'm curious what they're smelling. Why I'm, why I'm saying that is yesterday I was here on my way to one of the water holes in the midday and I saw two black mamba mating on the road right where they are now, literally right there. Two massive black mamba, they were about three and a half meters each. It's just curious that the wild dogs decided to sniff around here a lot. Maybe they're picking up something on that. They're beautiful. Yeah, it's awesome, huh? What a way to start the morning. Is that good booger? Ah, just look at that again. I'm really very happy to see them again. I didn't think we we're going to get another chance. Here's one coming right past us. Now look at that. Carla running. There. Obviously, something more going on here than just hunting. Yeah, this has been 
see them again running like this, I don't think we're going to be able to stay with them much longer. Depends on which one of these directions they choose or which road they take. You're right on the boundary here. Yeah? But uh, yeah, see. Right, yeah. looks like they're staying on the road. Amazing. Yeah, that was really awesome. <laughs> now, there's quite a few other vehicles that want to come in as well, as well as, like I said, they are going to move into another area now that we, that we can't go into. So, uh, yeah, that was awesome. It really is something that uh, I could not have expected early this morning. It's the first time on Wild Earth that we see wild dogs, first, first wild dog game drive. Really fantastic. Well, we're going to... Uh, slow down a little bit. It's been quite a crazy busy morning. Let's go find a pretty spot. Actually a beautiful sunrise that just happened as well. And we're just going to slowly go along and see what else comes up. It's been really fantastic. So far the water holes are pretty quiet but I'm sure things will come around there as well. Haley keeping a sharp eye on there. And uh, we're just going to keep on looking for whatever other surprises might come along.